Historians called the voyage of this traveler a brilliant failure. Trying to find the unknown Southland, he was the first to go around Australia, discovering some nearby islands but never approaching the continent itself. The name of the seafarer who lived in the Golden Age of the Netherlands was Abel Janssoon Tasman. The future traveler was born in Holland in 1603 on the Tasma farm. His father was poor and couldn't pay for his son's schooling. The boy had to learn to read and write by himself. At that time, the Netherlands, where seafaring and trade thrived, was called the country of sailors. Abel became one of them. There is no information about his youth, as well as it is unknown where and how Abel Tasman studied seafaring either. Perhaps when the provincial youth came to Amsterdam, he added N to his surname and became Tasman. At the age of 30, Abel Tasman went to the island of Java, to the town of Batavia, now Jakarta. The fort of the East India Company, belonging to the Netherlands, was situated there. Tasman studied diligently, and a year later, he became the best helmsman. In the same year, 1634, he was appointed the captain of a patrol ship that prevented spice smuggling. The Dutch strived to expand their trading territories. Rumors said that to the east of Japan, there were islands rich in gold and silver. In 1639, Anthony van Diemen, the governor general of the Dutch East Indies, equipped a ship for searching for them. Abel Tasman was made a helmsman. The mysterious islands were not found, and scurvy let just seven sailors out of 45 survive. It was only due to Tasman and his navigation skills that the ship passed dangerous shoals near the Japanese islands and returned to port. Tasman took command over the fleet of four ships. 37-year-old Tasman excelled over other captains in his ability to watch, analyze facts, and draw conclusions. And soon, Governor Van Diemen committed him to heading a new expedition to the Southern Seas. From the time of Ptolemy, Terra Australis Incognita, that is, the unknown southern land stretching to the South Pole, could be seen on geographical maps. After the Dutch Willem Janssoon reached this land in 1606, sailors from the Netherlands called Terra Australis New Holland. Tasman was to find out how far New Holland stretched to the south and east. He also had to study the customs and traditions of the Aborigines and get them interested in Dutch goods. In 1642, two ships with 100 sailors under the leadership of Tasman left the island of Java. The voyage in the seas of East Asia, led by the Dutch seafarer Abel Tasman, lasted 10 months. For the first time in history, the courageous navigator traveled more than 8,000 kilometers of roaring 40th latitudes in the Indian Ocean. No European had gone so far to the south before him. Having discovered the unknown land, Tasman called it Van Diemen's Land. Only 150 years later did the travelers find a strait between the continent and Van Diemen's Land and realize that it was an island which they named Tasmania. The navigator Tasman also discovered the islands of the Tongan Archipelago and the Fiji Islands and reached New Zealand. Mari, its indigenes, thought that the travelers were conquerors and killed three sailors. Tasman named this place Murderer's Bay. Today, it is called Golden Bay. During the expedition, Tasman went around Australia circumscribing a huge circle in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. But his ships were so far away from the continent that Abel Tasman was not able to discover Australia itself. Two years later, in 1644, the captain came close to the northern coast of Australia and he explored and mapped it. But there were neither spices nor gold on those lands. That fact disappointed the Dutch trade company and the governor of the East Indies. When 40-year-old Abel Tasman asked Governor Van Diemen for his daughter Maria's hand, he turned down the request. 
The small island that was named after the captain's sweetheart remained far in the south as a monument to his love. Tasman lost his position, and only after the death of the governor was he given a fleet of eight ships that destroyed Spanish settlements in the Philippines. Tasman was getting cruel with age. In 1649, he tried to hang a sailor who didn't obey his order. Tasman was expelled from the religious community for that and was ordered to pay compensation to the sailor. But a year later, he was forgiven and made a member of the town's Council of Justice again, and he turned to farming in his estate near Batavia. Sometimes he went to sea on his own ship to trade. Abel Yansun Tasman died in 1659, being a rich and respectable landowner. Abel Tasman's voyage around Australia helped to find out that Australia is an independent continent and is separated from Antarctica by the ocean. The exploration of the fifth continent lasted 200 more years. All that time it was called New Holland, and only in 1814 did they name it Australia, that is, Southern Land. And grateful descendants called the sea separating Australia and New Zealand the Tasman Sea.